What I have for you today is another sleeping pad review. Because you know what? I've got more sleeping pads laying around my apartment that I haven't reviewed yet. And this one actually might be useful. Because what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to review the Thermarest Ridge Rest So Light. You ridge rest with this sort of solar reflective side on it. And also review the Thermarest Ridge Rest Classic, which doesn't have the solar reflective side, but oddly enough, has about the same R value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of review both of these pads because they're very similar, but they're also a little bit different. So there's going to be a little bit of comparison in there. All right. So that's what I'm going to do for you in today's video, and let's get into it. As I mentioned, these pads are very similar, and yet there are subtle differences. And the first differences are in the specifications. Now you can go to the Thermarest website, look at all the detailed specifications, but what I'm going to do for you is highlight the important ones and, and the differences in those important specifications. So first of all, let's talk about the weight. Now the weight is listed as 14 ounces for both of these on the Thermarest website. Well, actually what I found is that the Classic here, the Classic is actually a little bit lighter. On my scale, this Classic comes at 12.3 ounces and the Thermarest so the Solite Ridge Rest comes in at 14.0, so exactly up to spec. So this Classic is actually a little bit lighter, and I attribute that to slightly different kind of foam. It's just a little bit less dense and actually less thick. So that leads me to the next important specification, which is thickness. Both of these are listed at 0.625 inches thick or 5 eighths of an inch or 15 millimeters if we're doing metric. And we're going to talk about the metric because that's the most important that's going to be easier to tell the difference uh, in the thicknesses. This 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 uh, Ridge Rest So Light is actually a touch thicker than the Ridge Rest Classic, and and as you can see in these these photos I'm sharing, uh, I tried to measure them to show the differences, to show those differences in thickness. But this Classic is actually probably about 14 to 15 millimeters thick at the thickest, and the the so light is actually about 16 to 17 millimeters thick at the thickest, which is the top of these little ridges here. Um, so, so that's an interesting difference that, that I noticed in, in my ownership, that it doesn't show up in the online specifications. The difference in thickness you can see is in these these uh, ridges here. In the so light, there is a bit more depth in the valleys and a bit more height in the ridges. And then with the classic, there's, a, there's less like difference between the, the ridges and the valleys. So it's a little bit more consistent in height all across, but not as thick. So that's an interesting difference in these two paths in terms of the thickness and the construction. Now the third uh, major important specification is the R value. And despite this, this so light sort of being like solar and reflective with this, this whole silver side here, it's actually, they have about the same R value. The so light is 2.1 R value and the classic is uh, 2.0 R value. So they're about the same despite one of them having this, this sort of silver reflective side and the other not having it. Um, and so that's interesting, and I hope you've been entertained by me trying to corral these unwieldy pads talking about them. I don't even know what I'm trying. Um, anyways, those, so those are the important specifications for you. Nothing else comes to mind that I wanted to highlight, but just in summary, the Classic is a little bit lighter. The Solite is a little bit thicker, and the R values at the end of the day are about the same. All right? Interesting, huh? The next attribute or feature of these pads I wanted to discuss was the, the feel of them. And they actually feel a little bit different. So I'm on the Solite right now, this green and silver one. And the Solite is actually, as I discussed, it's a little bit thickier, thicker. And there's a little bit more difference in the height between the ridges and the valleys. And what I generally find is that it's kind of a little bit softer and spongier. And dare I say, slightly more comfortable. Now, I'm not saying either of these are actually that comfortable, which I'll discuss in the usage section of this video, but it is kind of a touch bit more comfortable um, when, when I'm laying on it. I mean, if I'm laying on it throughout the night, both are incredibly uncomfortable for me. 
But in general, the sew light is a little bit softer and spongier, uh, so there's a little bit more give to it. Now, the classic here, it, it, as I said, it's not quite as thick, and I generally find it to be sort of a little bit more consistent and resilient, uh, but it's not, it's like, it's just for a little bit firmer. So just sort of, just even just laying on it, like right here, just for a few seconds, I can kind of feel the differences in these foams. And if I'm gonna say one's more comfortable marginally, I'm gonna say the so light. But as I've tried to actually sleep on these throughout the night, I'm gonna say neither is very comfortable for me <laughs> in terms of feel because, because they're just, they're just 15 millimeters of, of foam. And for me, at my age, with my little you know, creaks and pains, those aren't gonna be comfortable for me. And that leads me to what it's actually like to use these. And as I said, I bought this one to kind of test out and maybe use, and then also use it to supplement my existing pads. I would like, I usually would supplement this, uh, the Solite, the Ridgeless Solite with a sort of uh, air pad. And I would, you could put this, I think it's more useful to put the foam pad on top if you want to maximize that extra R value instead of on bottom. But I kind of like to put it on bottom because it helps insulate from anything on the ground. So I'll put this underneath the air pad and it will help protect from the ground, insulate from the ground, and just kind of even out the surface. That's my preferred way to layer it. Um, and so I would do that and it does add a little bit of comfort and R value. Uh, but I'm gonna say using it alone I tried to use it alone and it just wasn't comfortable, so I never did that. Uh, and as for the, the classic, sort of the same deal. I bought this in a pinch when, when actually, well, the same pad, this actually developed a hole on a trip and I've since repaired the hole and it's fine now. But I, it, I tried to use this for a couple nights and honestly, I couldn't sleep. Either way, on my side, on my back, on my stomach. That's just me though. Some people do entire long trails with this because they don't trust air pads or their air pad springs a leak. So people do entire long trails, the Appalachian Trail, Pacific Crest Trail, they'll do all that with just these foam pads. And to me, that's amazing, but I can't do that. So in usage, I find them not comfortable at all and unable to sleep through the night. But what I just like to use, it, use these for mostly now is simply to supplement an existing air pad, to add protection, to add a slight bit of comfort, and to add a little bit of insulation and R value. So that's that's sort of what I use it for. Um, I don't really use these alone, but other people do, and props to them because I find these not very comfortable at all. Another thing I wanted to discuss with these these roll-up closed cell foam pads is how they compare to sort of your fold-up closed cell foam pads. And one of the more popular ones you see all over trails are, hopefully they're not all over the trail, hopefully they're on the backpacks of people hiking the trails, just to specify there. Uh, one of the more popular ones is the Thermarest Z-Lite and the sort of fold up accordion style one. You see that on people's backpacks all the time. I don't have that, but I do have this, this X-Ped Flex Mat, which is the same concept. You know, it folds up and it's, it's kind of a little bit easier to transport. Um, and it's got all these, these little, I don't know what, you, peaks, hills, or whatever, that can give it a little bit more thickness. And technically, this is like 0 0.7, 0 0.75 inches thick, which technically would be thicker than, than these two, two pads. Um, so yeah, okay, it's a little thicker at the peaks of, of these, these little bumps or nodes or whatever you wanna call them. Um, but I don't, I'm not a huge fan of these for one, for a couple reasons, one, that these these bumps, they always compress after a while. When you use it for a while, they compress and they're not as thick. So on paper, they're thicker, but after a while, they're, they're uh, not as thick. And two, these are just a bit more fragile. It's got more failure points with all these little, these little folds here. So it can fail there. Um, so durability-wise, these sort of roll-up, closed-cell foam, Thermarest ridge rests, they're gonna be a touch more durable than your fold-up Z-Lite or your X-Ped Flex Mat or your Nemo switchback. In my, in, well, 
in my observation because I've never owned one of these these things long term. So I don't really know from personal experience, but I hear in all kinds of reviews and stuff that things like the ridge rests are going to be a little bit more durable. Um, and in terms of comfort, I mean, it's just classic. Your mileage may vary. Uh, these fold-up things can be thicker. People say they're comfortable enough. Uh, in, in my universe, my experience, I don't find any of these closed cell foams to be comfortable enough to use, especially as a side sleeper. There's just too much pressure on my shoulder and my hip and elsewhere for me to really use any type of closed cell foam pad uh, in terms of comfort. So if we're gonna compare the, the Ridge Rest Classic and Solite to a fold up uh, X-Ped Flex Mat or Z-Lite, there's definitely differences. And I think if you're going for durability, these things, these, these roll up closed cell foam are gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit more durable, but in terms of comfort to me, it's just a toss up. It's a wash. I don't really know. So that's just something I want to discuss real quick. Thanks for sticking around and watching this far. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you liked it or you like my other videos, please like, subscribe and all that. Uh, it, it, it motivates me to make more videos and, and I appreciate the support. Um, but to conclude, there really isn't much more to say than I've already said. There's subtle differences between these. The classic Ridge Rest is a little lighter. The Ridge Rest So Light is a little bit thicker, and in my opinion, a touch more comfortable. Um, and then the R values are about the same, despite one having this reflective side. In terms of comfort, I find them both pretty uncomfortable to use on their own. Yeah, I can't say I really like using these on their own because they're not that comfortable. But what I like to do is use it in combination with an air mattress for extra protection and insulation and a touch more comfort because a layer of foam does add a, a little bit more comfort. But in terms of my usage, they're all basically too thin and firm for me to actually use on their own. So thanks for watching and uh, appreciate your support and viewership. I guess I'll see you guys later. Time to take a nap.